Hi, everybody. That's Allie. And that is Dash. Welcome to our play date. Where we choose a game, sometimes make up our own rules, and play for a while. Enjoy listening and playing along. Or don't. We can't hear you. It's a podcast. In theory, all currency is fake. Yeah. We've all just sort of agreed yeah. <laughs> that it's worth something uh-huh. and we kind of, it just holds our society together. But <laughs> if we all just sort of agreed that it wasn't worth anything anymore, society yeah. would fully crumble. You think so? You don't think we'd go right back to the barter system? I mean, I don't know. I think it would be great, but. You think it'd be great if society crumbled? <laughs> I mean, we're not doing that great right now. I guess so... that's true, yeah. Maybe we need, you know, it's like turning it off and turning it back on again. <laughs> Have we tried? Have, Have we, we tried, tried it? turning it off and on again? <laughs> Let it run the updates and yeah. then shut it down and then see. Yeah, start it back up know, again. Start and it see back what... up again and see what the updates did. Right. See what we're doing. <laughs> oh, no. Everyone just take a nap. Yeah. Go to therapy. We'll all come back together in the morning and talk it out. <laughs> yeah. And what's great, like, I feel it's not great anywhere right now right like it's yeah. not even like you could escape to somewhere yeah, that's there's better a, well new zealand seems like pretty popping off seems like yeah. they're doing all right they're sort of just out there in the middle of nowhere yeah but they have that like nightmare they have nightmare earthquakes mm. like full nightmare earthquakes okay yeah which i'm terrified of earthquakes yeah so yeah because you have zero warning with earthquakes they just happen. You have zero warning and also it's one of those things where like i've never been through one mm-hmm. And the ones that you see are like in the movies are the ones that are really bad. Right. Yeah. You don't see the ones where it's just like, oh, is that? Did, okay. Did a truck pass by or yeah. did I? <laughs> you don't see those. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. I it, Nightmare. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Hey, little ghosties. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Sorry to awaken your earthquake nightmares <laughs> with that startup. Or maybe not. Maybe yeah. you've been through an earthquake and you want to tell us it's like mm-hmm. all fine. I would appreciate that actually. Oh, that would be great. Yeah. If you are one of those who has lived through an earthquake and uh you know, you're like, ah, eh, it's not they're not that bad. Right. Yeah. You're like, hey, it's cool and fine. Mm-hmm. Like I have a friend who was in Mexico during the Ooh, that yeah. one big one. She's fine, but okay, she's like, good. Yeah, it was not seeing what was going on around yeah me. it's very terrifying yeah also beef you have not commented that i have brand new glasses or that i finally got my hair cut i thought that well i can't tell about the haircut because it's pulled back anybody but your glasses watching, are very nice anybody who's watching either on spotify or on youtube i have new glasses <laughs> so now i have two pairs of glasses did you get those for christmas i for myself yes yeah. <laughs> and then i i finally cut my hair after like a year and a half yeah so it's do you feel better better. yeah 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 well it's because it's pulled back in a ponytail so i can't really tell but okay yeah it's it's shorter in Mm -hmm. in a good way okay yeah not that shorter is ever bad right no right yeah you just felt like it was too long for you it was way too long and Mm -hmm. the ends needed to go and she needed some shape she was just really not doing it uh, today we're playing Millennial Loteria by Blue Star Press, which um, Loteria is a game that we Latinos and Hispanics play a lot. Have you ever played it? I've never played it. Um, I So here's, the, we played bingo. Yeah. But my family called it Loteria. Yeah. It's basically the same game. Yeah. No, we're a Domino's mm-hmm. family. Mm, okay. You no, know, I mean, we had Domino's too, but I mean, when you're kids, you don't really know the strategy behind Domino's. Sure. So you just play bingo. Which makes people so angry when mm-hmm. you win at Domino's, but like, don't understand what's going on. Right. It's yeah, yeah. my favorite thing. Yeah. It is my favorite thing. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a bingo marathon guy. Like I'll, I'll lose several single hands of bingo. But if we're doing like a best of eleven or best of ten, you're a, you're a we are gonna win the war, not the battles kind of right, guy. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like I'm gonna lose <laughs> the first two or three battles just to see how everybody plays. But then towards the end, it's kind of like Casino Royale, right? You gotta you gotta go all in to see what their tell is, and then I don't know what Casino Royale is. Uh, the James Bond movie about poker. No. No. Nope. Okay. I, the two things that you told me about it are the things I already knew. That it is a James Bond movie and that it's about poker. Correct. <laughs> okay. So we each picked our cards yeah. uh, at a time out of a stack. I think there are about 20 or so different cards with yeah. different configurations. And then um, Dash, you can be El Influencer, okay. which is what, 
what you're called in Got the it. directions. And you're just going to flip cards and mm -hmm. we will put our Bitcoin markers on it. And right. the goal is to get uh, four in a roll. So the Millennial Loteria, the difference between this and regular Loteria uh, is that the theme of the pieces is very millennial, almost specifically millennial Miami based um, because it's got, like it's got sushi, which is a very millennial thing, but it's called el sushi yeah they're all just el or la in <laughs> yeah. front of a thing yeah like the the atlas holding up the world it's like atlas but he's wearing a very fashionable scarf and loafers and it says la student debt because he's carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders i do have to say i mean we'll talk about this later when we read it but like the art is really it's sending me i'm mm -hmm. really i'm loving it it's yeah it's very old school art like very tarot card art, yeah. but it's all like millennial stuff. Yeah, they're giving tarot <clears throat> cards, but they're also like kind of funny. <laughs> El drone. Okay. <laughs> so, um, are you ready? You want to do our first card? I am. So, I'm having yeah. a really good time with first these. First person to get four in a row. Yeah. Um. Wins. Yes. So on like bingo, bingo's five in a row. Uh, Lotari has four in a row, and there yes. is no free space. So, la selfie. Which is, a, it's a mermaid card. <laughs> La selfie. It's a mermaid taking a selfie. Uh -huh. Yes, we which I assume her. in the real Loteria, it would be just a mermaid. La Serena or yeah. whatever. Uh, next card. Oh, is it really Serena? Yeah. Like well, Siren. Yeah, it's like Siren. Interesting. Sirena, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, I'm sure it comes from the Latin. Sure. Yeah. La border wall. <laughs> And it's a picture of a ladder. Oh, that's up funny. Against, up against a border wall. Up uh, against a wall. Up against a wall, I mm -hmm. guess, in general. Las Bitcoins. <laughs> Bitcoins are what we're using to mark them, but uh -huh. I, don't, I don't have any on my board. No. It looks like poker chips, so I'm guessing the original was just gold. Oh, they've also got numbers assigned to them. So I guess, yeah, if you don't Yeah, know. I wonder what the numbers are. Well, I guess if you can't read or whatever, you use the numbers. La Coachella. <laughs> oh, I have that one. I have Coachella. La Coachella. Coachella. Yeah, and it's somebody like they're like half naked in feathers and <laughs> like it looks like they're at Coachella. I feel like Coachella is, I want to <laughs> go to see it, but I don't want to go. Right, yeah. Like I want to go ironically to Coachella, but it's so much money that there's no point in going ironically. Also, I like showers. So, <laughs> El Drone. Do you like flower crowns? Uh, I could take them or leave them. <laughs> I feel like there's better things for flowers to be doing. Uh, el non-GMO. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, it's a picture of a pear. Yeah, it's a pear with, with a sticker that says USDA. <laughs> what does it say? USDA organic. Yeah, it says uh, yeah USDA organic. El non-GMO. Wow. Wow, bro. El makeup tutorial. On a card oh, called La Luna. Fun. El makeup tutorial. That's a very millennial thing. El participation trophy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. No, wow. I'm it's not a, doing well. And it's a red jar that says you tried. I'm actually real curious to see what like the actual Loteria cards are. Uh, yeah. El sushi. El sushi. I got that one. El sushi. You love sushi, right? That's I your do. favorite food. Mm -hmm. I like sushi, but What's I can't your... eat the shellfish sushi, so... I'm missing out on a whole world of sushi. What's your favorite roll? You can eat the salmon ones, right? Yeah, I can eat the salmon ones. My favorite one is the... Uh, the salmon and the tuna. You yeah, can do all yeah, of that. Yeah, salmon, tuna. Uh, I can eat can pretty much all eel? the nigiri. I've never tried eel. I've always been afraid to because it's not necessarily the thing with the shell that I can't eat. It's the iodine. And I think eel, some have the iodine. Oh. So I have to be careful. Which is why like crab, which is fake crab, right? Like crab with a K. It's not real shellfish, but it is white fish that has been cooked with crab to give it the flavor. Oh. Yeah. And that's enough to set you off? <clears throat> yes. Wow. Yeah. Well, it's like um, in some, I, it doesn't happen all the time, but in some places if they make fried shrimp, right? Like if they use the same oil to fry the shrimp that they use to fry the fries, for mm -hmm. example, I may have an allergic reaction. Yikes. It's never really happened, but Yikes. it can. Uh, el piercing. El piercing. Yeah, and it's a Ooh. heart with an arrow going through it. I love, I actually love this card. I think it's super cool. It's an anatomical heart. Right. Way, it is an anatomical the, heart. With an arrow through it. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, la notificación. <laughs> it's a little bell with a notification icon. Oops. Sorry. Uh, el Prime. So, like, your Prime delivery for some boots. Oh, you Prime. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, Prime delivery. That's funny. Yeah. Ooh. Like, Amazon Prime. Ooh. This is a holographic card. Ooh. It moves. El TikTok. And it's a person doing <gasps> that little TikTok dance if you move it. Oh, my it. gosh. How cool. Yeah. It's a lenticular card. That's what it's called. Lenticular. Lenticular? Mm hmm Oh, and they're doing that, like, kick your yeah, leg, move kick. your arm up yeah. dance. <laughs> and the heart goes, that is cool. That's really cool. Yeah, I didn't know I hope there's like there. seven more of mm -hmm. those. Yeah, that's very cool. Uh, La Feminist. And it's a woman holding a sign protesting. <laughs> so just an update. I've got two in a row. That's the most I have. Yeah, same here. Well, I've and got Dash two has, in a row, two in a row, and two in a row. So Dash has two, two in a row. Yeah, I have two, two twos in a row. Two twos in a row. <laughs> two twos in two a row. Twos. Two twos. Uh, el safe space, and it's, a, it's a <laughs> an umbrella. umbrella. <laughs> it's like it's giving Totoro, honestly. That's oh, so cute. Okay. Yeah, yeah. El safe space, funny. <laughs> el gentrification. <laughs> it's a guy with a. It's a guy cane with, a, and a hat. with a cane and a hat, but he's he's dressed very Cuban, but it's an obvious white guy. So it's <laughs> he's appropriating. That's funny. The Cuban outfit. Gentrification. Mm -hmm. Gentrification. <laughs> El brunch. That's a very millennial thing. What's El... your favorite, like, brunch? Um, Like, either restaurant or favorite brunch, like, food. Mm, okay, so I love... A, you know, I mean, you know me, I'm a breakfast all day kind of guy. Um, so brunch for me is just like literally anytime between breakfast and lunch and yeah. get some food. I don't look for specific foods. What are people like who wouldn't eat breakfast any time of day? Like, are they, are oh, they fine? Yeah. Right. Like, do I've, they need a hug? I don't think I've ever met anybody who was like waffles for dinner. Absolutely not. Yeah. I don't think I have either. I don't know. I, yeah. If, if you're, you're, if you're one of those people, let us know. We're not going to judge you. We just want to know that you exist. Yeah. Are you? Yes. I want to hug you. I want to talk to you. <laughs> Are like you okay? Like, if you would have or, rather have, like, a grilled cheese in the morning than mm. a waffle at night. Ooh, yeah. That's a great... Yeah. Would you rather have a grilled cheese in the morning? Actually, I'll take a grilled cheese. Anyway. You know what? So, so, here's the thing. Me, Honestly, last year... you could do, like, a breakfast grilled cheese. <laughs> yeah. You could do, like, French <gasps> You could do, French like, toast. waffles with cheese in the middle? No, she's what? giving French toast. Okay, French toast. French toast with, like, a subtle cheese mm. in the mi middle like but maybe not like french toast something. that's already been slathered in syrup right like no the syrup comes at the end okay the syrup goes so you make two pieces of french toast mm -hmm. <gasps> and then you, you do like a sweet cream like a cream cheese yeah that would be so good so two pieces of french toast a uh, cream cheese in the middle and then a little bit I've of syrup had that actually where it's Ooh. like texas toast French toast mm -hmm. with strawberry cream cheese in the middle, mm. and then another Texas toast French toast mm -hmm. on top. This has food truck written all Delicious. over it. <laughs> uh, I would have to say eggs in a basket, I think, would probably be my favorite. Which is the egg in a piece of toast, right? Right. Like you take a piece of toast, toast and, you, and then it's got like a thing on it, like a... Like a deep, like a sauce. That's just fun to eat. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. I'll eat that anytime. Yeah. That's just I, fun to I eat. I like a biscuit. I love a biscuit. I love a biscuit. You know what I mean? I like, do love a know. biscuit. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there's a place down here called the the wheel, the chuck. Oh, the chuck, chuck wagon. wagon. The chuck wagon right here on Bird Road. Oh, chuck wagon! Shout out chuck to you. Chuck wagon is life. Yeah, it is uh -huh. life affirming. It mm -hmm. is life giving. It's an I experience. It. The chuck wagon is an experience. Didn't we go there one time and the lady was like, "I love your earrings. I have a pair just like that. I don't wear. I'll give them to you." That sounds like it could have Yeah, happened. that totally sounds like something that happened at the chuck wagon. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, El DJ. <laughs> DJ. Ooh, I have him. Oh, Ooh, no. okay, I'm uh -oh. one away. I'm one there. away. Oh, no, and I need that one, too. Well, I don't need it, but I have it, so uh, here we go. I'm one away. Here we go. El hipster. <laughs> El hipster. hipster. <laughs> oh, man. He's got a funny mustache and, and Let me slippers. See. Is that a cigar? Is it? it? But it's on one of those like long, like Audrey Hepburn. Yeah. yeah. And his cigar. He's got great hair, though, this hipster. Mm -hmm. Really good hair. Here we go. 
el gluten and it's a death <laughs> square. <laughs> it's like a funny. skull and bones because gluten is terrible for you. Wow. Meanwhile, we just have a like el Uber five minute conversation about French toast. Uh huh. El Uber and it's a beetle. Yeah, we both have Uber. That's like I love a yellow beetle. Oh, oh, la loteria! Uber put me over the line. You have to say yes, millennial loteria. Loteria! Yay! I didn't even realize I had it. What did you win with? The Uber, el Uber. No, what for? Oh, I won with el sushi. Okay. La feminist and el Uber. Oh, and la notificación. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And you were one away. I am one away. I was waiting for LVR. LVR? No. The next one was El Podcast, which is who we are. El Podcast. That would have been a great way to yeah, that would have been a great way close to out it. the game. Uh-huh. El Podcast. El Podcast. Awesome. Yeah. So I'm going to keep this one out here so we can put it on our... I'm going to take pictures of all this so we can put it on our, on our Instagram stories, which is uh, at Society Circus, our production company. Exactly. So, uh, go check us out at Society Circus on Instagram. You can see pictures of all this and our little, um, uh, what's it called? Not a slideshow. What are they called? Uh, a carousel. Car- okay. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. You don't called. know what it's called? It's You're called, better at Instagram than I am. <laughs> Y'all, you should uh, check out our Instagram because mm-hmm. these cards are really, I I really like the art yeah. on these cards. Mm-hmm. Should we rate them? Speaking yeah. of? Yeah, yeah, let's rate them. Um. So. The box. Yeah. So the box. Mm-hmm. I really like it. It's um, I'm gonna rate it a cigar box because it's like kind of that shape. It's mm-hmm. nice square corners. Yeah. Um. It it's honestly, f- it was probably kind of made to look like a cigar box, except it yeah. doesn't have you know obviously the hinge to it. It has. Mm-hmm. It's like a the slip top on that goes yeah. on. Yeah, but it's very much like I. I mean, I remember seeing these the the original version in like Navarro. Yeah. Right. Like. They had Lauteria in Navarro, and it looks just like this box. So they they went to a great deal of effort to make this new and updated version feel and look like the old version. Which I really appreciate. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm thinking about, like, movies and stuff like that. But when you're, like, giving a little nod mm-hmm. to, like, mm-hmm. here's what the original is, but we just, here's kind of our fresh new take on it. Mm-hmm. Um. I really appreciate that, like attention to detail. Yeah. Um, the the cards. cards. The art on the cards is fantastic. It's a very retro look, mm-hmm. old style, almost hand drawn style um, artwork. I mean, this like hologram card. What did you call it? Lenticular. A lenticular card. Yeah. It really blew my mind. That's very updated. That's not. Uh, that's definitely not in the original. It really blew my mind. I'm. Is it the only one? Through, I yeah. think maybe because it's a dance, so it had to be moving. Yeah, that's the only one. Mm, wow, so that's a very rare card then. But that's really cool. Yeah. That like blew my mind. That was what a delightful surprise that was. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're also, I feel like they're a little bit bigger than playing cards, maybe. Let me see. Or maybe the same size as playing cards. Tell you right now. But they have kind of a cool um, gasolina. <laughs> like effect on the back let me see yeah yeah they're playing cards i mean they're not american playing card company playing cards but they're they're roughly poker like they're not bicycle yeah they're they're poker size playing cards yeah i really like them what are you gonna get what do you want to give the cards uh i want to give the cards uh you know those old machines that you put in like 50 cents and you push it in and when you pull it out a thing comes out Uh uh-huh that a fortune telling machine no it's um like you could get stickers out of it or sometimes you just get like a random baseball card or whatever like one of those like a vending machine prize yeah vending machine prize for cards okay i like there's people out there who know what i'm talking about like like they they sat outside of the toys r us and you would be like "Ooh, holographic stickers and you'd stick in 50 cents and, and pop out yeah like I like that. <clears throat> I like that a lot. Um, I also like the humor to the cards. Yes. There's a yeah, little yeah. bit of, you know, kind yeah. of tongue-in-cheek humor, which mm-hmm. I think is pretty fun. Um, playability, su- I mean, super easy. Oh, yeah. You pull a card, you put your chip yeah, in. Yeah, this would be really fun at, like, a big family gathering, mm-hmm. and I feel like it's something, like, Abuela could play it, the kids could play it, yeah. like, anybody could really play, and you mm-hmm. could do it for a little while, yeah. and... And, and it's, everyone's going to have a good like, time. It's got the basic rules, which are good for anyone to play, but it's got the little nods to millennials who mm-hmm. like live with these terms in their life. Yeah. Um. So if you're a millennial like us, you would appreciate it. If you're not a millennial, you could just play along anyway. And yeah. you're, you know, 
Sometimes I think about people who like travel forward in time Mm -hmm. and they like listen to what people are talking about these Mm -hmm. days and they're like, what does any of this even mean? (laughs) Like, what is a Coachella? Yeah, right. What is a juice cleanse? Like, I understand what juice is. I understand what cleanse is. Right. But what together does it mean? Or like TikTok, but Mm -hmm. you're not talking about a clock. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's just such a funny idea anyway. Yeah. Actually, that's, yeah, that's funny. Like the words and stuff that we use now. Like Mm -hmm. that happens at any point in history, right? But like, you know, if somebody from the, just the fifties, like not even that far long ago, like just the fifties came up today and was like, what are you even talking about? But also we had to invent or adopt or or take in so many new words because Mm -hmm. of all of the technology that's right that's happened so like you know internet apple has Mm -hmm. a completely different meaning than it used to before Mm -hmm. um you know pc has added meaning um so i think i i don't know i think that's that's right really interesting you're right yeah we forget sometimes about how our generation grew up in a time where we both didn't have the internet Mm -hmm. And we're completely enveloped by the internet. Right. Right? Like, it's wild. Yeah. Yeah, it is wild. Like, through high school, I didn't have the internet. That wasn't a thing in high school. I I think there I mean, were I sort computers of, yes. at my school that mm-hmm. had Yes, it. yes, yes, yes. Right. But, yeah, it wasn't, <clears throat> even in college, it wasn't I wide literally and readily available. remember pulling the drawer out yeah. and looking in the drawer at all the alphabetized cards mm-hmm, to try mm-hmm. to find the, yeah. the book or the magazine that I was looking for. Yeah. Ooh, what an experience. I know. Okay. And then. Oh, and then um, we have the little Bitcoin pieces, right? Oh, yeah. The, so the markers pieces. where in the lottery that I've played when I was a kid, they were just usually like little plastic chips or little cardboard chips. Um. But here they are little cardboard chips that are also Bitcoin coins. There, it's it's funny because this game and remember Hip Town that we played, yeah, mm-hmm. also uses Bitcoin. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I feel right. like that's such a like specific mm-hmm. moment in time that people and keep it's going already to. gone. Yeah, it's already <laughs> gone. And uh, I got to punch them all out of the little card, uh-huh. which brought me immense joy. Very satisfying. And then. Um, I had fun. It's a oh, it's yeah. a very tongue in cheek game, which mm-hmm. I really like. I had a good chuckle. I did. I had a very good chuckle playing this. Yeah. Yeah. I had a great time. Mm-hmm. So that was it. That was Millennial Loteria. Yeah. I got it at Target. By Blue Star Printing. Very well done. Very well done, Blue Star Printing. Yeah. Great game. Easy, fun. Oh, apparently Loteria is a trademark. And it's oh. used it's used with permission of Don Clemente Inc. So thank you, Don Clemente. Yeah, thank we you, Don Clemente. You. I didn't know that it was a trademark. All right, cool. Yeah, very nice. It's amazing what happens when you read the box. Yeah. So we played this as Millennial Loteria as we're heading into the new year when this episode will be released. So we want to wish you a very happy new year to all of our little ghosties. That's right. And if you're not listening in real time and you find us. <laughs> Uh, you're a time traveler, and you find us somewhere in the future. Um, have a great year anyway. You yeah. can have a great year any time yeah. of year. Wherever you are and whatever you're having, have a great year. Yes. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening, everyone. Now we'd love to hear from you. You can visit playdatepod.us to watch our videos. Access our episode library. Find out more about our brand of quality, clean comedy. And contact us with any questions or comments. Improvisers love audience suggestions, so make sure you visit playdatepod.us. And the podcast you just heard was a production of Society Circus Players. If you like what you heard today, please rate, review, subscribe, and share it with a friend. And finally... If life's a circus, we're We're the clowns. This was way more fun than I expected. Yeah, me too. I had a great time. Nail art. Did you see El Vegan? (laughs) <laughs> it's a reindeer that has a farmer's market bag on its back. Oh, no. <laughs> Juice cleanse.